everyone what's up i hope everyone is having a beautiful day so far you guys this is something a little different i'm gonna do a pick a card um for the Haley messages i was not ready yet okay flip back over so you guys i have a new deck okay new deck alert this is uh the sacred skirt deck okay and basically you guys i'm going to give you a Haley message uh for the day um for each pile okay so um you guys can swipe for your pile, all right? So, yes, let's get started. Okay, for pile one, for card one, what is your Haley message of the day, okay? Let's get pile one's message of the day, Haley message. Yes, you guys, and also I have this little teeny... A uh, cute little tarot deck, okay? Oh, look at it. It's so cute. It's so tiny. Um, if I need to clarify anything, all right? Or get additional uh, messages for you guys. Come on now, Pile One. Come on now, Pile One. Okay. Okay, last shuffle. I'm going to get it off top. Okay, Pile One. Ooh, love and light. So some of you guys are kind of like overthinking something, um, overthinking a situation. Um, some some of you guys may have been uh, betrayed in some way or feel like you guys have been betrayed by someone close to you, right? So right now it's like spirit is asking you guys not to uh, act irrationally or not to uh, overreact with this situation and please try to see this the situation from a higher perspective i don't know so sometimes it can be a little difficult it can be a little hard um because when we are betrayed and hurt it can sometimes trigger us on a egoic level okay so we kind of react um because our ego has been hurt and bruised number one because it's like damn how could this person do this to me i'm the freaking best you know and the other part of you is like you know, how can I allow myself to get treated this way? Okay. Is there something wrong with me um, that I allow this to happen to me? Um, no, nothing is wrong with you. It is sometimes you cannot control how people, um, you know, what they do to you. Okay. It's all about them and, and how they feel inside. Okay. I know right now it sounds really cliche. Like it's not you, it's them. It definitely is uh, the other person um, in this particular situation, you guys. Okay. Um, Maybe someone someone did something to your child, maybe got your child sick or got you sick. And, you know, you're like, some of you guys could be a Virgo, a hypochondriac, but um, you're looking at the person like, because you were so, you know, um, just so irresponsible, you weren't paying attention, you weren't being careful, it, it is your fault. You know, some of you guys may be blaming someone for something, okay? But it's like right now, you really have to see this from a higher perspective. And I'm getting that with this little light okay it's going to the crown chakra you know because it's past the third eye and it's going to the crown like think about this and think about the situation before you guys react okay it says act with care all right so try not to uh lash out too much on this person even though it is their fault that something happened something uh i wouldn't say tragic um some of you guys it could be tragic some of you guys it really could be about your health um, but try to see it from a higher perspective. Maybe this person is dealing with some sort of addiction or, um, some issues, some mental issues that is causing them to behave this way. Okay. So that's, that, that's your, uh, your message of today, Paul, one, whatever you do, any circumstance you guys run into today, trying to handle it with care. Okay. And with love. All right. Bye. Okay. Paul two. Part two, your meshes of today, okay, it came straight out. Your meshes of today align with the universe, okay? So some of you guys are supposed to be, um, you guys are, are, are looking forward to starting something new in your life, okay? But you guys are seeming to be a little distracted. Um, I'm seeing like with temptations, okay? Temptations and also uh, people. So some of you guys could be studying really hard for an exam, but you guys are like getting tempted by your friends, <laughs> okay? Okay, by your friends, by partying, by going out, you know, wanting to have fun because you guys work so hard with this certain thing, this particular thing. I'm definitely seeing... Um, you guys are taking an exam in school, okay? 
um, trying to improve your skills to get a better position in life, okay, to uh, manifest what you guys want, your your um, desired dream or your dream job, your dream career, okay, something that you guys really work really hard for, okay, um, it says align with the universe, navigate uh, distractions, all right, so it could be right now you're getting a little tempted by going out, some of you guys, I'm seeing that um, you could be taking your relationship to the next level. You guys are getting tempted by the bachelor or bachelorette life, okay? Maybe um, you guys are planning for a bachelor or bachelorette party and your friends are like, oh my goodness, you, you only live once. You know, this is your one shot to get all this, all your sister before you become tied down. And they're trying to like urge you to do something that is probably going to be uh, harmful down the road, okay? All I'm saying is that really think about it nice and hard, Okay. Before you make that move, um, don't do it. And some of you guys are studying for an exam and you know that it's really a serious deal. It's a big deal. It's a serious exam. Um, please don't listen to your friends or give in to temptation, give in to distractions, um, especially from those around you, okay? Just just don't go, turn off your phone, zone in, um, put some music on or something, okay? Take a walk before you uh, start this exam. But you, you guys definitely have to pull yourself away from all these distractions around you because it is not going to be, uh, it's not going to help you guys in any way. It's actually going to be a little destructive, all right? And I'm seeing that it has something to do with uh, pleasures because I see this orange, okay? The oranges and yellows, you know, um, solar plexus energy. Solar plexus is all about the confidence, Okay. Um, some of you guys feel like you don't have the confidence enough to uh, do these things on your own. And some of you guys, I could see you guys are getting uh, pressure into taking drugs, okay? Stimulus to help you guys focus on this exam. If you guys don't feel like it's the best thing for you to do and it's something in your soul that's telling you don't do it, then don't do it, okay? Because you guys have enough confidence and enough knowledge. You should have enough confidence in yourself that you have the knowledge in order to pass this test on your own without any... Um, influence from from drugs or anything um the solar plexus this is all about the confidence the, the sacral is all about pleasures okay desires uh sex drugs money okay the fast life so yes you guys um power to car to that is your your quick matches of today please take yourself away from distractions get yourself grounded um take a nature walk okay connect with nature uh, align yourself with the universe all right and stay out of trouble so yeah bye okay card three or power three what is your meshes of today oh my goodness i think i oh i thought i saw something what's your meshes of today come on now power three power three card three too many it's three of them um I'd like to say to some of you guys, please, too many, like five of them. Um, if you guys are irking, like, or not irking, but um, feeling the urgency to talk to someone or to say something, um, keep it cool, you guys. Definitely keep it cool. Um, I got something. Let me reach over and get it. Oh, come on now. Okay. So, Galactic Healer, okay? All right, that's what you guys got today, Galactic Galactic Healer. And it says, move forward with an open mind. Yes, yeah, some of you guys might be um, a little anxious to have a certain conversation. Oh, my apologies, you guys, for that noise. Um, to have a conversation with someone, um, especially someone you look at as being, uh, I wouldn't say less than, but this person views you. Okay, looks up to you as a mentor, okay, as a mentee. Do you look at them as a mentee? Look at you as a mentor. Um, you guys are really eager and feel the urgency to speak to this, to this person. Um, maybe about a certain situation. I'm saying you guys cannot wait to school someone on something like, oh, this person got that wrong. Let me school them. Um, I don't know why, but it's like, please, you guys, the message of today is to, um, Maybe keep it quiet, okay, and keep that information to yourself because maybe this person isn't ready to accept the information that you guys have to or feel the need to tell them, okay? Maybe they're not there right now. Uh, maybe it's something that you guys can easily understand, but to this person, they cannot understand it, all right? All right. Um, 
And also, you guys, keep an open mind because, you know, sometimes we can get so busy, um, so caught up in our own mind. We can look at ourselves as being a little, you know, intellectually superior than other people, uh, especially when it comes to a certain subject, especially if you feel like you guys have mastered something. We have a tendency to want to teach, teach, teach and um, stop ourselves from learning from other people that we view as being less uh, knowledgeable than us, Okay. Um, but something is telling me today, you guys, today's message is to uh, keep an open mind and also to listen more than you speak, okay? Don't be so quick to want to teach someone. Um, maybe this lesson, okay, this lesson of today is to uh, become the, the student rather than the teacher, okay? So that is your message of today, Paul 3, card 3. Thank you guys for so much for watching and um yeah I thought this was just this would just be uh really fun. I don't know what is going on on with me, but it's like Mercury retrograde. Maybe this is this is for me <laughs> to slow down and talk slowly, okay? But um thank you guys so much for watching. Um I, I will try to do these on lives um more often randomly throughout the weeks. Um just to give you, you guys something to look forward to, you know, it's, it's nothing like having a surprise. I don't really like too many surprises, but I know some of you guys probably do. But um, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you Sunday. Bye.